next definition that we are going to see is one one correspondence okay this one one correspondence will be spoken between two sets a and b okay uh, when we say these two are in one one correspondence if there exists a mapping okay we are saying there exists a mapping which means there must be at least one mapping between a and b okay and that mapping is 1 1 and r 2 okay if there exists a mapping between a and b which is 1 1 and r 2 then these two sets are said to be 1 1 correspondence or they have a same cardinal number or a and b as also called as equivalent sets okay so uh, cardinal number simply means they are same number of elements okay uh, cardinality of a set means the number of elements in a set is known as cardinality okay uh, these two are equivalent sets and they have same cardinal number or they are in one one correspondence all those things and we may write this as in notation we may write a is related to b okay this relation has three properties that is reflexive that is every set is related to itself okay next is symmetric that tells if a is related to b then that implies b is related to a okay and the third one is transitive and this tells a is related to b and b is related to c that implies a is related to c okay here uh, this relation is being spoken uh, in terms of the existence of a mapping okay here we are not talking about the uniqueness of the existence of a mapping here we have simply said that there exists a mapping okay so a and b are equal in sets and this is denoted as if these conditions are there okay fine okay how can we relate a and b a is related sorry a is related to a if you simply define f of x to be x for all x in a this mapping is both 1 1 and 1 2 there exists a there exists a mapping between a and a which is both 1 1 and 1 2 therefore a is related to a okay if this happens which means what there exists a mapping f from a to b which is both 1 1 and 1 2 okay this is what the definition of 1 1 correspondence tells you okay if this is so your inverse mapping is also 1 1 and 1 2 that we have studied in uh, the course of algebra itself okay using that thing we can say this thing right okay if a is related to b which means we have a 1 1 and 1 2 mapping from a to b okay and we have another 1 1 and 1 2 mapping from b to c and we have to prove there is some 1 1 and 1 2 mapping from a to c if you just make the composition of these two things okay that tells you this next we are going to define something which is uh, most used in the course of analysis okay for this let us uh, let me write j to be the set of positive integers okay usually give, we give the notation z plus or simply uh, the set of all natural numbers here we are giving in our textbook that is in Walter Rudin's book it is given to be j okay and j n is the set consisting of 1 2 till n okay uh, so if I write something like this this tilde symbol denotes that exists a 1 1 1 1 correspondence between the sets on either sides if I write a is a tilde b this means there exists a 1 1 correspondence between a and b okay here if any set 
here in I am going to define five things. In all the things, this A is any set. Okay. If this is in one one correspondence be, between this is in one one correspondence with J N, then I can call this A is a finite one, which means this set A is finite set. Okay. Next. A is not finite. If it is not finite, then what happens? A is infinite. Okay. Next, if this A is in one one correspondence between the set of all positive integers, then what happens? This is called as countable. Okay. If A is either in one one correspondence with J n. R in one one correspondence with J, A is said to be uh, at most countable. Okay, if A is not countable, A is said to be uncountable. Okay, here the countability. The word and the definition are quite different, right? Okay. Uh, here, be it finite or countable. Okay. Uh, if I talk separately about these two things, then the combination of these two is in at most countable. Okay. Finite means okay. It is in one-one correspondence with J n. J n is what one two etc. N. Okay. Which means I am going to associate this one with some element of A. Okay, I am going to associate this two with some element of A. Which means what? I am giving the arrangement of elements inside A. Okay, and this consisting of only a finite number of elements. That is why the set is said to be finite. Okay, if the set is not finite, which means this n may not be a smaller value. It can be, however, large. Okay, for any larger values, it is not. I am not able to give such arrangements. That is why it is called as infinite set. Okay. Then what about this countability? Okay. Be it infinite set, but still I can. Okay. This uh, set of all positive integers is what? One, two, three, four, and it goes on to infinity, right? Okay. So this one is associated with some element of A. This two is associated with some element. Of Element of A. Three is associated with some element of A. Even though this A is an infinite set, I am able to give arrangements in the set. Okay. If this is so, we call the set as countable set. Okay. If it is either finite or countable, we call it as at most countable. Okay. If it is not countable, which means I cannot give the arrangement for the elements in the set. In that case, we call the set as uncountable set. Okay, uh, the author that we are following is Walter Rudin. He has defined, uh, he has actually classified sets into these cases. Uh, some authors may not have classified this one. Okay, at most countable. What have what they have done is that they have uh, classified this countable into two things. That is. Uh, Countably finite and countably infinite. Okay, uh, these two are usual definitions that we have in any course. Okay, if the set consisting of only finite number of elements, it is finite. If not, it is infinite. Okay, so the arrangement. When the arrangement is concerned, uh, if it has only finite number of elements, that is countably finite. If it has infinitely number of elements, but still it can be arranged in some sequence, it is countably infinite. If it is not coming under any of these two categories, that is uncountable. So this is what said in most of the authors available.